Hello, my name is Seng Yun Ni, CEO of B Seng Inc. Today, I'd like to talk about SSD versus HDD, the final round. The competition between SSD and HDD starts in year 2012. The y-axis shows dollar per gigabyte, and the x-axis shows the year from year 2012 to 2019. Because storage device is sensitive to dollar per gigabyte, it is important to understand cost comparison. The blue line shows HDD. It was nine cents per gigabyte in year 2012 and become six cents in 2016. Because HDD has difficulties to decrease cost, it is expected to remain the same six cents per gigabyte. However, there is a different opinion. I'm not an expert of magnetic drive, so you may check the following websites for more information about scaling of magnetic hard disk drive. Okay, we are back to the price comparison. Red line shows analysis from TrendForce and the green line shows analysis from object objective analysis. The price difference between SSD and HDD was 10 times in year 2012. The gap rapidly shrinks to four times in year 2016. I checked Amazon.com. Yes, the difference is four times. In such a short time, SSD becomes affordable. It is amazing, isn't it? First, I would like to discuss about SSD versus HDD from 2012 to 2016 time frame. During the time frame, HDD was still dominant in cost competition and planar NAND successfully reduced the cost with aggressive device scaling. So, it would be interesting to see what happened during this time frame. And then, I would like to predict the market in between 2016 and 2019. NAND Fresh is in transition from planar to 3D, so it will be a totally different challenge for NAND. Depending on how the transition to 3D NAND goes, we may see different stories. As we know, SSD has better functionality compared to HDD. It has lightweight, high speed, low power consumption, and no noise. Also, it has high shock resistance. SSD enables fast boot time for personal computers. So many people prefer SSD over HDD despite of high price. From 2012 to 2016, SSD shipments increased six times and show linear increment. In the meanwhile, HDD shipments shrinks down about 15%. During the time frame from 2012 to 2016, the driving force of SSD market increment was the better functionality of SSD. Then, what happened after 2016? Will market of SSD increase linearly or exponentially? I believe it will depend on price of 3D NAND. If SSD price is favorable compared to HDD, SSD market will increase exponentially. If not, it will just grow linearly anyway. Why SSD is important to NAND vendors? If SSD observes HDD market, total available market of NAND fresh memory could be double. So NAND vendors are competing in the SSD market. It will be interesting to see what happened to SSD after 2016 because NAND is in transition from planner to 3D NANDs. Many people talk about when price parity will happen between SSD and HDD. It may be not an important question. If SSD becomes affordable, then more applications will adopt SSD anyway. As we see in this graph, the price gap certainly narrows down, so NAND vendors have high expectation to take over SSD market. However, it will all depend on 3D NAND. 
As we know, planar NAND faces its device scaling limitation. Simply Morse law does not work for NAND flash memory anymore. So NAND vendors jumped to 3D NAND. However, 3D NAND is still expensive than planar NAND and does not have a clear path to low cost yet. Details are discussed at the following video tutorials. For more information, please check these videos. Here is comparison of SSD market price. For 1 terabyte SSD, TLC planar NAND is about $200, MLC is $260, and TRC 32 layer 3D NAND is 320. So 32 layer 3D NAND SSD is about 50% expensive than planar NAND SSD. Micron recently introduced 32 layer TRC 3D NAND SSD to the market. The cost is close to the MLC planar NAND SSD. When 3D NAND comes to the market, we expect much better price than planar NAND because planar NAND has just one layer of memory cell on silicon surface and 3D NAND has many many layers of cells to vertical direction. If 3D NAND cannot provide low cost NAND, what's the meaning of 3D NAND? Technically 3D NAND is a big jump from traditional planar NAND. However, we don't see economical reason to use 3D NAND yet because it does not have a clear path to low cost. In case of Samsung, 3D NAND starts from 24 layer as the first generation. The second generation is 32 layer and the third generation is 48 layer. We may expect 64 layer as a fourth generation of 3D NAND. However, no tool is available for the 64 layer etching and low cell current is also concerned. Considering process complexity and manufacturing cost, the chance that 64 layer 3D NAND achieves price parity with the planar NAND seems low. People are talking about string stack of 3D NAND, which stacks 3D NAND cells on top of other 3D NAND cells. In this case, yield is a big concern. If memory cell yield is 90%, then yield of string stacking will drop down to 81%. So, when we see the roadmap of 3D NAND from the first generation to the fourth generation and string stacking after that, 3D NAND seems difficult to achieve low cost anytime soon. Then, will price per gigabyte of SSD stop at around 20 cents? To answer that question, we should consider fierce competition in NAND business. The graph shows CapEx comparison between NAND with blue color and HDD with gray color. As shown, CapEx of NAND far exceeds CapEx of HDD. The graph shows 18 billion CapEx of NAND. In addition, XMC, SK Hynix, Toshiba, and Samsung are making additional 52 billion investment in NAND. What it means to SSD and HDD market? Oversupply of NAND. Oversupply crashes the market and causes reconfiguration of NAND business. Certainly, price of SSD will drop down quickly. In addition, some companies fail to keep up with this competition. Only NAND vendors with deep pockets will survive. Eventually, low-cost NAND will enable SSD take over HDD market. However, this low cost will not be sustainable without support from low-cost technology solution. Now, we have a question. What if 3D NAND fails to provide low-cost solution for SSD? I believe 3D Super NAND will provide ultimate low-cost solution for SSD. Compared to other 3D NAND, 3D Super NAND has 10 times better cost advantage and 10 times more wafer throughput. It will come to the market and provide ultimate low-cost solution for SSD. Expected dollar per gigabyte is just two cents. 
For more information, check tutorial videos in page 9. Please feel free to leave comments. Thank you.